Karen can't be extended to prevent Jeannie from earning her living. Nobody is talking about firing her. But we do have a responsibility to our patients. What about a responsibility to Jeannie? She's using universal precautions. Are you frightened here, Mark? Is that it? No, I'm just trying to keep us all from being sued. You think I want to get sued? But opening up Jeannie's personal tragedy to public scrutiny is the surest way to invite frivolous lawsuits and mass hysteria. So we break the law? If we have to, yes. I care about Jeannie, Carrie, but there's a larger issue here than your personal loyalty to a friend. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but we're swamped. Whenever you're done. We're done now. Mark, we haven't even made a dent. Would you rather jeopardize patient care further by sitting here with a traffic jam and triage? What precautions are usually, what does it refer to here, double gloves? You're going overboard with these guidelines. Well, what about employee X's participation in bloody trauma? I don't see anything wrong with that. Bloody trauma. Maybe that's the deal with Dr. Lewis. Susan HIV positive? I don't think so. Look, Susan is fine. That's what I said. Lydia's been sick a lot lately. Oh, shut your mouth. You know, I would have expected more from the two of you than gossiping about a co-worker's HIV status. Look, everybody, uh, Carrie and I have been hammering out a policy. There's no secret there. There shouldn't be grist for the rumor is there a reason we have to have HIV positive employees in the ER at all? Well, according to current law, employee or employees X, we'll call them employee X, cannot be fired because of their HIV status. But they can stick their hands in a bloody trauma? Why not if they're gloved? Is this someone who got it from a needle stick? What difference does it make how they got it? Well, these are the issues that we've been discussing. Should employee X be restricted to non-invasive procedures? Or continue with their duties? Won't universal precautions prevent transmission? Yeah, that's what they tell us when they send us in to work on HIV positive patients. The real question here isn't in law and policies, it's do our patients have the right to know? This in no way has any reflection upon my opinion on employee X's work. Is there an actual employee X or are we just talking? We're talking policy.